Point Six News watching out for you and your money. And we were the first to tell you that the stimulus checks are not tax free in Oregon. Lawmakers were discussing a fix to that. Some even promised they'd fix it. Whatever happened to that? Lindsay Nadrich checked back to find out. And what did you discover here, Lindsay? Well, you may remember a quirk in Oregon's tax law meant nearly 900,000 Oregonians ended up paying more in state taxes because of the federal stimulus checks. And for now, it looks like the state plans to keep that money. In total, the state ended up collecting an additional $300 million in personal income taxes because of the stimulus checks. A viewer emailed me saying she ended up owing $300 more in taxes and wrote in part, Oregon has our money. I fear that it will be very hard for them to relinquish it without public pressure. In March, Senator Dick Anderson introduced Senate Bill 842 to refund taxpayers. And it uh, went the course of uh, most bills at a committee and sat uh, for quite a while. We've got a public hearing on it, which is certainly a, a first step. The bill seemed to have a lot of support in the beginning, but in June, a motion to move it out of committee and onto the Senate floor failed. It, it became obvious that it was being uh, held hostage. Um, you know, there's something about money and the desire of the legislature to hang on to, to money. Senator Anderson says part of the concern seemed to be how difficult and costly it would be for the Department of Revenue to issue refunds since people already filed their taxes. You know, we, we had numerous shots at it. Uh, they, they could have and should have, uh, but it was just disappointing. So as of now, Oregonians will not be getting that money back. Senator Anderson did say he will look at taking this issue up again, but it wouldn't happen until 2022. And it's unclear if it would even have enough support to get it passed in the future since it failed once before. Well, I also reached out to two Democrats who chair committees that deal with taxes, Senator Burdick and Representative Nathanson. I asked both for comment, but was told neither was available. Reporting live, I'm Lizzie Natterich, Point Six News.